Welcome again to our road trip through the Bible with the Union Church of Christ. I'm Dale Hubbard. Glad to be able to share some things. Our trip today carries us to Jerusalem. And the timing of, of this place and the activities of this place is just a few hours before Jesus is about to die. And Jesus tells his disciples, his apostles, he said, I want you to go to an upper room. There's already been preparation made and, and we're going to observe the Feast of the Passover. Now the Feast of the Passover to the Jews was very important because from our Old Testament history we remember that that last plague, that last plague when uh, the Egyptians had the death of the firstborn of man and beast if there was not blood over the doorpost which God had instructed the Jews to do and so it was treated as truly as a Passover that and when the angel passed over and saw the blood there was no death and so they celebrated this and rightly so and so what Jesus was doing he was celebrating this but he had some other things he really wanted to talk to them about his mind, his heart was filled because it was literally only hours before he was going to die upon the cross. And so he told them when they sat down, he said, I had a great desire to be with you and to eat this supper. It wasn't so much of a supper as we might think about, but it was the remembering that he wanted to do with them. But while he sat there with them, and while they talked, he told them something really sad. He said, one of you is going to betray me. One of his inner circle, one of those 12 is going to betray me. And, and obviously they were all curious. Is it me? Am, am I the one that, that it's going to be that does this? They go through the supper. But then he does something different, something unique, something brand new. And he takes unleavened bread and he takes fruit of the vine and he talks about the bread being his body and he talks about the fruit of the vine representing his blood it's what we call today the Lord's Supper and this was the very first time and he was telling these apostles and disciples this is what you're gonna do in the kingdom and the kingdom is the church and he says now I'm not, I'm not gonna do this again we're not gonna do this again until we do this in the kingdom which is the church. It's interesting that a little bit later on we find in Acts chapter 20 after Jesus dies, after he's been resurrected, after he's gone back to the Father, the disciples, the Christians, the church partakes of the Lord's Supper. And Jesus had told them, he said, I want you to do this in remembrance of me. The disciples had a lot of things on their mind too. and They had a lot of things on their mind because Jesus said he was going to die. And they even got in what we would call an argument about who was going to be the greatest. They didn't stay very well focused on the facts at hand, but if Jesus is going to be gone, who's going to take his place? Who's going to be in charge? And Jesus had to share some things with him to talk about humility and, and how important being a servant is. Jesus talked to Peter individually, and he said, Peter, you're about to deny me. And, and Peter didn't want to believe any of that. He didn't want to believe that, and he said, no. He said, even if I have to die, whatever other people do, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to deny you. And Peter was so forceful, and Peter said it in such a way that, that the other apostles agreed. He had convinced them as well, no, none of us are going to, to deny Jesus. And Jesus said, yes, you're going to deny me. And as we know what happened later on, Peter did that three times, and, and he repented, and and the Lord still used him in, in, in a mighty way. But it was such an interesting, such an interesting place, an interesting time, interesting events. If we could have been the proverbial fly on the wall, or if we could have just literally sat in that upper room in Jerusalem, not all that far from where Jesus would be crucified, not all that far from where he would, for the sins of the world, give his life. Yes, if we could go back and we could do a road trip, a road trip through the Bible, how interesting it would be to be in that upper room where Jesus institutes the Lord's Supper. He identifies to them that one would betray. They dispute about who's the greatest. Jesus warns them about denial, but he tells them and he encourages them that he loves them and he cares for them. Thanks so much for watching our road trip through the Bible.